guys. Today we're going hunting with my good buddy Kevin Neufeld. He's a bit of a waterfowl expert and he's helped bring me out of my first couple hunts. And today we're in the pothole region of Manitoba and we're chasing geese. So Kevin, give me a little play-by-play. -play. How did you pick this field? Scouting and hunting. Um, ultimately, you got a truck, any vehicle really. Um, hitting gravel roads, you know, go to your municipal office, pick up a landowner map as a first, and I started driving. Um, you're gonna look out for fields, you're gonna see where potholes are, lakes, stuff they're roosting off and flying into a, into a field. A roost, a roost is where they spend the night, okay? Yes. Wait yeah, okay, yeah, keep going, keep going. <laughs> um, and yeah, when you see them in a field, you're gonna look for, you know, relaxed geese. You're gonna see geese spread out across the field. You're gonna see them feeding, resting, you know, just hanging out, eating. Um, if you're scouting a field and stuff just landed, they're tight, they're bunched up. So ultimately seeing a field that they're relaxed, they're eating, if you see them in there for a couple of days, perfect. So you'll find the spot where they're landing, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but Kevin will go out the evening before, find where they're landing, and that's where we'll go in the morning. Or in this case, you saw them here in the morning and... Very, yes, correct. You know, they fly out typically twice a day. If you're scouting for a morning hunt, you're looking in the evening. Uh, for the afternoon, you're looking in the morning, seeing where they're feeding, where they're, where they're hanging out during the day. And that, that X where they're sitting on is where you want to be, if you can be at, at all costs, really. And that is where we're set up. We got our decoys. It was a little bit wet today, so we used the ATV to pull them out. Didn't want to muck up the farmer's field. So we're set up. Okay, part number two. How do you set decoys? What's, you know, you know where they're landing, but how do you decide how to set those decoys? As a, as a basic formation, most waterfowls are, are well rehearsed with a U. You know, you have, a line out front exactly like that. Your main bunch is sitting down in here, a thicker pod with you know trailing ends coming out looking like they're feeding into the main group. And the U faces, the U faces into the wind. Birds and airplanes, they land into the wind. Yes. And you face the U into the wind, right where my thumbs come together, that's where the hunters are. That's where we're gonna be hiding. They're gonna land in that pocket, and that's ideally where we're gonna harvest a couple of geese, right? Yes. There we go. Here we go. Say goodbye. Awesome, first of all, those birds were like right on the deck, right in front of us. That's exactly you want them to land into the wind, like Kevin said. And uh, it's getting later, but hopefully we get a couple more flights. Guys, that is how hunting goes sometimes. We got three geese, which is still a success in my mind. Uh, it's just the whole process. It's setting the decoys, you know, scouting the night before. Uh, I'm probably gonna make some goose stew. You can do goose stir fry. There's a lot of different options. Uh, waterfowl is just a very interactive type of hunting. Good way to get into hunting. I'm thankful for friends like Kevin for taking me out. Thanks for joining and we'll catch you next time.